It might seem a little elementary, but let's start with the mechanics of logging in, which really isn't difficult to do, but you should know a little bit about what happens when someone does log in. Your unique email address serves as your username, which keeps you separated from other users and even other schools. Each user is tied to a unique set of privileges or permissions based on their role. For example, a teacher or an administrator or a department head will all be able to see different things. Here's a sample chart to illustrate the concept. And notice that the administrator can see a lot more than the department head or the teacher. We've been very careful to make sure that there is a separation of roles because of the sensitivity of data that's collected. So when a teacher logs in, they will not see what administrators see and vice versa. We'll talk a little bit more about this when we start talking about managing users. Also, passwords are one-way encrypted and cannot be retrieved even by us, the developers, and they would have to be reset by the user in case they forget. So once you are logged in, the application calibrates itself for the level of privileges for your account, which remain until you log out. So enough about logging in. So I'm logged in as John Higgins, our administrator, and again, he sees all the options. But I just wanted to show you how we've grouped some of the functions on this dashboard. So things at the top are things that you do most often and are directly related to the evaluation of a teacher. These other areas are areas that you may not have to access very often once they are set up. So here we're dealing with people, the departments they're in, the positions and roles they might have. Down in this section, under evaluations, this is where you set all of your rubrics, your criteria and your content by which you are evaluating your teachers. And this section down here is specific to observations. And then you've got just some utility uh, functions down here, setting file categories. And finally, you can log in as a teacher to see what they are seeing. This item here, this link here, gives you the ability to become an evaluator, which is one step down from an administrator. They don't see as many options as the administrator sees, but they will see more than maybe a teacher or have greater access than a teacher. So this takes you back to your administrator capabilities. That covers the main screen, main dashboard, and now we'll start parsing this and going into each of the functions in order that you would want to set up the application.